if let's unzoom a little bit show the resources they are watching from first perspective so yeah uh ferris plank as has fallen spawned in the top right corner and then we have light sentinel in the bottom right corner as beast we see immediate scouting from light sentinel immediately running with his minion towards the left side of the map we'll see if we'll build an expansion here or what he's planning to do also build a stable making his first boron not making arena yeah this is really interesting usually you don't really play it like this ah actually it seems like ferris is going for immediate expansion without even knowing where his enemy is and uh, he got a little bit unlucky in this situation because he's going to build this expansion between them which might also not be bad if he can actually protect it and build some towers here but uh, Light Sentinel can also just ignore this and attack his main base. We'll see how this will end up happening. What will end up happening here? And even though Light Sentinel is actually scouting here, uh, he kind of avoided this base. So even if uh, if Ferris went there, he wouldn't get scouted by this minion. Light Sentinel is also uh, losing ton of, of course, resources on this minion. If you send him so early on, you will just lose ton of value from that. Now he's not even producing any minions. Also, try also losing ton of time here. Making arena uh, really just closed between these two buildings. Not really getting the full value of a wall. Now we're leaving some gaps here. Yeah. So this is definitely not the best defense for this base. Uh, minion finally finding this. But he won't be really able to do anything. The deformer will just auto heal. I mean, the damage is quicker than the auto heal, but it will take forever to kill this deformer with one minion. There will be definitely stingers around before that. But first, warrior is getting produced already. Now, finally, making some minions again. He should be producing another boron at this time already, but hopefully, he will catch up to it as well. The upgrade. That is definitely a little bit behind. <laughs> Bring the holy light. That yeah, would be more accurate if he was Empire, but since he got a ban for that, he has to do it as a beast. So yeah, the expansion is finished. First warrior is coming, but you already see hives being finished. First hives uh, thing that could be already produced. Uh, could be producing, let's say, because he has resources and population for it. Instead of that, he's just defending with his harvesters for now. Uh, not sure why he's not producing in this hive. But he doesn't have incubator, obviously, so he cannot make... Uh, cannot upgrade grasp for his harvesters to just one-shot these warriors. But yeah, we have the first Hive Stinger here, obviously he won't be able to kill the warrior even when he's so injured, but with his uh, Harvesters as well, the Hive Stinger will be able to kill this warrior, and also first tower is being placed now. We see even Tower Rush from Light Sentinel, but it's just on so random position here, obviously immediately spotted by Ferris, so this will do absolutely nothing. Light Sentinel is not going for Goblin Riders or Trolls, just pure warriors. Which obviously won't be able to push against this tower at all. Uh, Ferris still has zero defense in his main base, so since he doesn't have grasp, Light Sentinel could, ju could just take his uh, warriors and attack here. But if he did that, um, and since he has this extremely bad base, uh, he would probably just get rushed by Stingers in his main base and he would lose all of his uh, economy. While Ferris might actually lose this, but he would still have his second base here, so. That wouldn't really help Light Sentinel in this situation. He could also try to uh, create another expansion. I mean, not another expansion, but first expansion for Light Sentinel. But as you can see, there is a stinger there, I think. So, first is probably scouting the map as well. Yeah, maybe this man actually wanted to go for expansion, but that won't really happen. Three warriors, they can definitely kill these stingers, but as I said, there is a tower and. Without trolls, you have basically no chance. The and I'm really expecting Ferris to get... Now he's making a tower here, but he should definitely get the incubator and grasp upgrade. Potentially even maybe make some spitters to counter the warriors even more. 
Yeah, like Sentinel is not even getting any gems. I think it's a little bit too many minions on gold. Now going for Dark Oucher. Still pretty open base, yeah. No strategic defense there. But it's just kinda walking between his bases with his army of Hive Stingers. Now finally going for the Incubator, so potentially wants to make that Grasp upgrade. White Sentinel actually uh, making a base here, making the expansion, but. The upgrade and, uh, yeah, Ferris is immediately sending his scout back to the bottom side of the map, so I think he will scout this pretty soon, probably before it's finished. And. White Sentinel just doesn't have the army to actually protect against so many Hive Stingers. Yeah, there's even a second tower now being built in both bases. Also a Soul Strap. Probably wants to go for Avengers as soon as possible. But he's also making the Incubator so we can also just make uh, Val Cocoon. Research Metamorphosis and get Flying Hive Stingers. Which will definitely also work pretty decently here. Uh, Beast Chat and Goblin Hunt being built at the same time, still building, I mean, this really reminds me of uh, a base in a campaign, <laughs> when, the, when you always have buildings spread like this, so it covers a huge portion of map and looks like a big city, but obviously it's not too effective in PvP. But actually, Ferris uh, avoided that expansion, he came with his Stinger to, his, uh, to the main base of Flight Sentinel, so he won't be scouting the expansion immediately. Fourth Hive being built now, also Insect Haste for some extra movement speed upgrade and also some damage from faster reflexes. First Goblin Hunters joining the army of Light Sentinel, so definitely he would destroy this, but there is another whole bunch of uh, Hive Stingers in the back. And he should micromanage this so it may be back a little bit, but... Yeah, I mean, if you can get some kills before this comes, then it's fine, but now he'll definitely need to retreat. He doesn't have any towers, he's making one totem now, but it's not even full protected from one side. Making second beast cherry before even making any soldiers in the first beast cherry. Not producing, and now started producing some goblin hunters again. Bringing his minions, but too late, the army's already dead. Now finished the totem, but... As I said, it's not really protected by the buildings, so they will die pretty soon. Not producing minions in his second base. And uh, Stingers will probably die, but he'll destroy the tower. He killed like half of the minions, he's killed all soldiers, and obviously he has much bigger income. Already accumulating a new army. Going for the Valkakun actually, so maybe he just wanted the Soul Strap for experience. Doesn't really want to go for Avengers or anything more advanced, uh, now making even a third base. A little bit more in the front, not sure if that was necessary. I mean, you are taking map control near your enemy when he doesn't have army, which is good, but he could have just built it in the back as well. The upgrade but yeah, I think he still didn't scout this. We see first troll being produced by Light Sentinel now. Uh, First four Hive Spitters being produced by Ferris, so he's transferring to some ranged units as well. Obviously this troll has no front line in between, uh, in front of him, so he'll get immediately killed by these Hive Stingers. And, I mean, if Ferris decides to attack now, he'll probably finish Light Sentinel pretty easily. As I said, there are no towers, he doesn't have any major amount of minions that would be able to provide uh, some decent front line here. But he also doesn't really have damage, yeah, he has only four Goblin Riders, so... Even if he had a uh, ton of minions as a meat, he just doesn't have the damage behind it to actually support enough to kill some some units here. Uh, first, I should decide to go for uh, for warehouse, killing some neutral enemies, which is always good. You get some experience from it, and mainly you get some extra resources from the warehouse. I think he maybe lost some units there, but the ones that are just damage can be easily healed on the unholy ground, so that's not a problem. Uh, Light Sentinel has one minion here, so maybe he wants to take a third base as well, but right now he doesn't even have full minions in his two bases, he's not producing new minions in his uh, stronghold, so 
He's also losing value there. But Ferris still has double population, yes, yeah, so he's definitely fine in terms of units. Even though his army is pretty small, uh, he has multiple small armies around the map, so that's definitely good for him. And as you can see, the high are also moving fast now, so it seems like he just researched movement speed buffs for uh, all of his units that he's using. Now he's even getting the metamorphosis upgrade, and he also built a dimension gate, so potentially he will create aerial and maybe take some expansions in the mountains, or he could just try to make some stalkers and just use defile on the ground army of these ranged units of Light Sentinel, but I don't think he'll really go for that. I think the Dimension Gate is just to get the aerial and he's already doing that. Just to get a few more expansions in the mountains as well. Obviously, I think he already has the Metamorphosis upgrade uh, researched, so he should be able to get some first Flying Hive Singers, start effectively scouting around the map check all the uh, mountain expansions, even though there is nothing there. But as you can see, Sentinel just doesn't have any front line immediately. His troll get, uh, gets rushed by these Hive Stingers. And yeah, there's just so many Hive Spitters that it will one-shot the rest of the army as well. We are My Sentinel also making uh, Lizard Fortress, but there is just nothing he can really create there to make any meaningful uh, meaningful result from that. Uh, I mean, he can make striders. Uh, we don't see any seekers from uh, from Ferris to actually scout invisible units. But since he has Valkyrie already built, uh, he can easily fix that in like 40 seconds. Or what's the build time of or production time of seekers? So it also wouldn't really matter. And at this point, Ferris is just playing with Light Sentinel. Now um, maybe finally decided to finish him, but we'll see. Yeah, Light Sentinel actually started the third base, but since uh, this Ferris also already has it, I don't think there's a problem. Yeah, there is one troll doing some damage, but you need multiple of them to actually kill some decent amount of high spitters. Yeah, seems like that is so like again. But uh, yeah, this is probably GG, so uh, Ferris will be getting his first point. Light Sentinel will be moving towards the bottom of the first round, but of course he can still get some points later. Definitely doesn't exclude him from the tournament. Uh, hopefully it will unlike, but uh, this is definitely the moment when uh, we would not do a rematch. Uh, this is a point for Ferris anyways, so let's just see if it unlikes, but this is already decided. Eh, actually, seems like Ferris disconnected. Okay, but as I said, this was decided already. This is a win for Ferris, even though he probably disconnected there. Uh, so yeah, 50 kills for Light Sentinel, 53 for Ferris, 46 losses, 55, yeah, it's pretty balanced, but Ferris definitely had way more units here, also much larger army and more experience, more upgrades and definitely more resources as well.